I've been watching uh, some videos for about an hour on abandoned houses and so forth. And this one abandoned house, this guy walks through, everything's left there. I mean, a Victorian a couch, microwave, and you think, well, they'll be back. No, because this one guy says he's been there about a month ago. He thought he'd come back to see this. Uh, to see if uh, the owners or renters had come back to get their stuff and grass has grown up a little bit and he said you know they just left it for good but clocks on the wall mantles and I'll watch another abandoned house and it, it's unreal what people leave behind and I've seen a trailer some guys walking this old uh, abandoned trailer grass has grown up too and uh, the trailer is full of stuff I mean a $50 uh, fan. If I bet in an hour's time, the, the the stuff I've seen left in these abandoned houses, and I've been watching an hour's worth, I bet if I had to go buy that same stuff I've seen left behind, if I had to go buy that in the store, I bet it cost me seven, eight thousand dollars I'm not making it up. And my Uncle Ralph, he's, he's dead now, but he owned apartment buildings in Cincinnati. And one time he dropped by the house, He's telling us he had to evict, had to evict some tenants. And that son's a little beaming. If, if I act a little funny, that son's kind of hot. He's beaming down on me a little bit. Anyway, he, he had to evict some tenants. And he says uh, they left a two, three hundred dollar comforter. Came and said, you know what I'm saying? A bedroom com comforter. Am I saying it right? Comforter. I'm saying it 500 times. They left, he said, a very expensive comforter. And they also left, uh, my grandma used to make these quilts, real nice quilts. He said it was even bigger than that. It looked like a $200 quilt. They left her microwave. He put a cup of water in there to see if he would heat it, see if the microwave's st still working. The, the, he said, you know, he's got to pay somebody to go in or else him do it himself and clean the place up. It ain't dirty, he says. They even, the odd thing about it, they left all this behind, but they, vacu they, they vacuumed the carpet. He says, all the stuff, he, he, he and, and my aunt and my and Uncle Ralph was in her 70s. And he looks at her, he says, in our days, you wouldn't, you wouldn't throw, basically throwing it away. He said, in our days, you wouldn't throw it away. Ain't that the truth? He said the world is the world spinning. It's as if the world spinning in the wrong direction. He said, I mean nowadays they leave everything. And but he said he asked my aunt if he, if she wanted that real expensive uh, quilt. And she said, well I like to look at it. But he died before he could. He was slow. Go, you know, he said, oh maybe I'll come back next weekend and bring it to you. And but he died before that happened. He said a real expensive quilt, probably a $200 quilt. He said it looked like he'd keep you warm and cozy at 50 below zero. But he's, and, and I, now I know he's owned those apartment buildings in Cincinnati when I was a kid, and that was in the 1970s. If you go to Sharonville, and I think it's the only junkyard in Sharonville by the railroad track, <clears throat> you'll see a junkyard that's all fenced up. He owned that. And... Um, the rumor has it, story goes, in the 1950s, the railroad caused the railroad right behind him. Uh, apparently, my aunt told me this, the, apparently in the 50s, the railroad offered him $1 million, $1 million for his junkyard, and he refused the offer. Yeah. But, I mean, these abandoned houses, man, it, it, all kind of stuff is left behind. You know, even he joked about it, we do live in a land of plenty in the land of plenty we do we got everything left behind but what see bankruptcy laws when you watch the abandoned places or, or if, if better yet watch bank foreclosures you ever watch a bank foreclose on a house noisy ass trucks you ever watch a bank foreclose on a house they send a crew out to take the stuff out to clean out the house and I don't think they're allowed to keep it. They gotta throw it in their uh, dumpster. They gotta throw it in a, a port the the dumpster they they hauled. Yeah, they gotta throw it away. It'll make you sick what people leave behind. And the reason why they had to change the bankruptcy laws, see, people was taking advantage of that. People takes advantage of that. In other words, no more getting the government to pay off your microwave you went in debt for. Another noisy truck. I guess you heard me. 
anyway uh you know that they had it when you when you watch videos you understand clearly why we had to change bankruptcy laws uh only pay your bills off if you declare bankruptcy in other words it's much harder now to get your microwave paid off by tax dollars before that you you could do that but now it's much difficult, if impossible, and only can pay your bills off. But even after you watch videos like that of abandoned houses or bank foreclosures, you easily understand why they had to change the bankruptcy laws. You really, but man, it'll make you sick. If you watch a bank foreclose on a home, they'll send a crew out to clean out the house. You ought to watch the stuff thrown away. I'm not making that up.